Okay, welcome to the Flutterflow navbar tutorial where we're going to show you how to build a navigation bar at the bottom in under three minutes. All right, let me show you my setup here. I have three pages, home page, profile page, search page, just icons inside to differentiate between them. And the first thing you need to do to enable navbars is go to app settings here and turn on show navbar. Here this section will show you all the different settings for the navbar that you can choose. Now the navbar color white, that's fine. Let's make the selected color our secondary theme color, this orange. Let's not show labels here. All right, back to the UI builder. Now how do you make sure it's showing up for all the different pages? Well, for the pages you want to show up on the navbar, you can just turn on the setting, show on navbar for the scaffold property. And if you, you know, when you select the scaffold by, you know, by right clicking and select scaffold or just by clicking outside of the canvas, by default, the scaffold is selected and you can turn this on here. In this case, home, that makes sense. Let's make the icon a little different. Just use this home icon. Um, and now, as you can see, it says navbar requires at least two pages. Having a navigation bar in the bottom means you have more than one page um, that you need. Let's also go to profile page and turn that on. You can change the ordering here. As you can see, if you want one of them to show up after the other, this is how you do it in navbar ordering. That also shows up here in app settings. Uh, let's set the icon here to uh, user icon because this is profile. So this is now just to show you, I have two of my pages. And if you go to preview, it will show you the navbar. And these are just the two different pages, right? Home and profile. And you could have another third page, you know, many other pages that are not on the nav bar. And if you want to access them, you can navigate to, you know, with an action, you can do a navigate to that other page. But let's also add search page to the nav bar just for completeness. There you go. Um, now we're going to go to the app settings. I'll show you a little bit about th these other settings. So labels basically that lets you determine the behavior of the navbar if you want the labels to show up or not and you can customize the labels here so the labels for the search page should say search same thing for profile should say profile there you have it that's how you do navbars in flutterflow